So the first thing I'm going to do is just to bloom the gelatin. Mix this in and set it aside while we heat the other ingredients. All right, so we're just actually mixing everything together. It's really easy. I have some sugar, corn syrup. This glaze is so easy. Um, just have to remember to use it at room temperature and you can add any color you like to it to make it whatever you want it to be. Some water and some condensed milk. You can glaze your cakes and freeze them, and once they defrost, they will still be shiny. So don't be afraid to do that, whatever you're glazing with this. All right, so I'm just gonna bring this up to a boil. Once it's all combined, you wanna make sure you keep stirring it so it doesn't burn. Okay, so this is boiling. I'm gonna take this off. Now that it's off the heat, I will add the gelatin. Let this dissolve. Once your gelatin is completely dissolved, you can add the chocolate. Let this sit for a few minutes before you start to mix it. Stir your chocolate in until it's completely dissolved. You can use a burr mixer, hand mixer if you have one. I'm using white chocolate today because eventually I will be adding color to this. But you can always use dark chocolate. This glaze will keep in the refrigerator for about 10 days. Just rewarm it and then let it cool a little bit close to room temperature before you use it. If you're going to glaze your cake, you want to make sure that your cake is frozen before you glaze it. This will give you the best results. All right, now I'm going to strain this. All right, so this glaze is now ready to use. All right, so I'm going to pour some of this glaze that is pretty close to room temperature. It's a little warm, but it'll be okay. I have the orange mousse that is frozen. I'm just going to use a little bit of this. We'll color it a little at a time here. Depending on how many colors you're going to use, you'll have that many containers that you want to use. So I'm going to start by trying to make this white. I'm going to add our snow white color. All right, so this is white, and I want it to be a marbling effect. So I'm just going to add a little bit of the orange. Don't need much. A little bit of folding. I don't want to color the whole thing. And now I'm going to add a little bit of red. That orange is the natural orange, by the way, and this is just red. numbers will be listed in the recipe. All right, let's see how we do. All right, so every pour you do will be different because it's marbleized. So it's just something that you have to play with until you get what you desire, or what you like. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to our channel and our newsletter. We want to keep you updated on all of our discounts, our promos, and of course, our giveaways. See you next time.